last off. Hello and welcome. Now, I, I, I plan to uh, spend today and probably Monday, uh, part of Monday anyway, talking about um, another aspect of writing that's, that uh, is uh, suggested to me by Barry here uh, in the audience. It's a good idea about talk about the refereeing process. Now, a lot of you will be asked to uh, write referee reports, and, and uh, also you'll be receiving referee reports and so on. And so this is an important part of publication. Um, and uh, let's see. First of all, to finish uh, some, some old business, uh, oh, yeah, homework. Remember, today was the day that homework is due. And so be sure to turn in your homework uh, to the TAs. And uh, they will they will grade it and give you a and we will be talking about the sequel to the homework assignment next week as as we find out what you what you did we'll look at uh, and see if there's any specific uh, um, things to point out good and bad about what about the solutions to the problem. Okay now uh, okay now I mentioned the other day the um, the paper that I did recently. Uh, for the math monthly, and I, since we were talking about monthly lately, and this was the, this is the, the one where I had some correspondence with uh, with editor, and I ran across this as I was to, as I was working on my on my uh, thing for the uh, uh, for for uh, on, on refereeing, and so now I think I think uh, I, I think Helmish was um, uh, is is a, 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 a great editor, and um, and uh, so. Uh, uh, Here's a one, here's a paragraph in here. It says, uh, um, "Let's see. One possible change the re referee refers to, and I would like to second, is in the title of the paper and of its sections. Jokes are dangerous in a magazine like the Monthly and the Prophet. From the ingenious double meanings may turn out to be majorized by the laws." Now you, you know you, you realize that when you're writing to mathematicians, you would use language like this, and it would be more. It, it would, it would, he would write a different letter to somebody else, but. Uh, um, uh, but uh, I, I mentioned that uh, as I when I when I wrote the original paper, I got I got carried away, and uh, and, and I, I had to show you how carried away. I had to show somebody how carried away I was. Like I like here was so here's the the letter. Um, uh, I understand that some people keep their copies of the monthly in the bathroom. This paper is written especially for them. Um, I had. So the second section was called an absorbing barrier, and the third section was called residues, and the fourth <laughs> section was a process of elimination, the outcome, and uh, cleaning up. So, so now the <laughs> now what? And then, my then the third reference was was flushed with pride, uh, uh, which is a wonderful. Uh, uh, which is a wonderful book I would recommend to anybody. It's, a, it's the history of Thomas Crapper, the inventor of the flush toilet. And uh, um, there's a lot of interesting background on that. I don't want to get into it. But anyway, you see, I got uh, I carried away. On the other, so he, so then he sent me this fatherly advice. And and I wrote back, um, okay, and I got a referee report in here too, I guess. And um, uh, and so the the actual paper when it comes out the sec the titles are called recurrence relations uh, the limiting behavior you know uh, special power series there's nothing uh, I, I, I believe anymore left of the of this the but the title is there you see now now uh, and that's um, and, and so I, I wrote to him about the title because um, because uh, uh, let's see what is the answer where is my um, <laughs> oh, goodness, here his letter comes back. Your toilet paper is accepted. <laughs> oh, well. Um, okay, where is it? Uh, I'm sorry, I must have the letter that I wrote to him about it, but, but, uh, hmm. Uh, basically, <coughs> and I hate to use the word basically, uh, I said that um, I thought about the title, and it seemed to me all right because I had given two talks under this title. We used it in the we used it in the um, ah here we go. This is my letter. Oh okay. I I, sub I submitted the paper on November fourth, and I got it. I got back his his letter and a referee report on November thirtieth. That was incredible. And then I said I made the change, except for one thing. The title is still the same. I've already given two lectures on the toilet paper problem. One was at IBM. 
a story about it has gone into our campus newspaper. The problem was using a qualifying exam in our department. I discussed it with numerous friends in all walks of life. I mean, at my church, I talked about it to, to people in conversation and stuff, and I met people who told me they've often wondered about this problem, which is about the uh, sizes of when you have two rolls of toilet paper to choose from, uh, what, what, what can you predict about it and things like this. And so anyway, I'm confident that there won't be an unfortunate backlash except perhaps if Senator Proxmire gets wind of the NSF support. Um, the subject isn't really raunchy like Harari's pornograph, which he, uh, now, um, um, and then, uh, and, and so, uh, I, so I said, now I have dispensed with, with my, uh, my double meanings and all this. And, and, uh, and, and actually, Hamish and I had had a conversation uh, where, where he was, uh, 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 where he had been surprised that my expletives were different from Nixon's, and, uh, and now our roles are reversed, and you are wisely telling me to clean up my act. And so, uh, uh, so uh, yeah, but, uh, but now, since then, I have felt a lot of twinges of <laughs> that I should have changed the title of the paper, because every time I see uh, I see this sitting in my pile of reprints or something. It looks very strange, and so I'm not sure I made the right decision on the, on the title actually. But um, it 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 got attention to the to, and it was reviewed in you know had reasonable reviews in the. Uh, uh, I haven't looked it up in the Russian uh, reviewing journal. That's, that'll be fun to do, I think, to see that. But um, uh, but the the mathematics was actually um, worthwhile, and I didn't think that it would. That, that I would have this negative uh, reaction afterwards seeing it, but just you know, just somehow it's it's very much out of context, and that um, and that uh, does uh, uh, is disturbing. No matter how logical or illogical something is, that things can be disturb. You know, the fact that that, that they are di that they are that different uh, is a factor that um, uh, I probably should have taken the, taken account of. Now let's see, refereeing. Uh, there's uh, there's some literature about refereeing, but uh, and I suppose it's gone on and on. In, in the it, like this comes from Science Magazine, 1965, and it was sent to me when I first became or about the, the first year that I was I was in the editorial game, and um, um, and and this is so, something that I think ACM passed out to its editors as uh, as something that they might want to take to heart, and. Um, and uh, well, I didn't. But I, I don't care for the. I, I didn't think this was a great, uh, a great paper, but had some points in it that I should mention that because this this addressed the traditional view of refereeing, and I, I think there's more to it than what he has. He he he. But he thinks of refereeing as, as as more of a more of a game where where there's there's legal rights and responsibilities uh, um, that, um, uh, and he's not really. Thinking of it as part of a uh, world enterprise of, uh, of uh, advancing science, so much as uh, as uh, advancing people's careers and things like that. That's uh, that's uh, that's not the primary reason for publication. The primary reason for publication is because you want to publish something that you think is that people ought, that that you that you want people to know that you think is is worth their their time and and knowing, and because it's another little a little. Um, uh, stone in the edifice of science and that you that uh, and you know all this nice things but really this is one thing that probably distinguishes uh, people from animals but the most is that we can remember and we can build on on the past because we have written communication and we can and each little each little uh, uh, piece of work is uh, is uh, 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 is uh, small in itself but uh, Put, put a lot of these together, and, and this is really what what makes a, a difference over the years. And uh, you feel you have that. That's a good. That's that's a. Uh, I think the right re reason to publish. Um, but uh, now, anyway, there's something that I, I have to remember then that the, the the first duty of the referee is to is to the editor. Uh, the editor is sending out a paper to a referee to uh, for for judgment, and the referee is an expert in this in this uh, area. Um, and so, as serving as an expert witness, that would would be in a in a in a legal case, and uh, uh, saying yes, in my opinion, I think this is worth or, or, or not worth publishing. And there's that aspect of it. Uh, but I I don't to me that was that's not the uh, that's not the, uh, the, the the main thing, and I'll I'll, I'll talk more about that later. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but here's another point that that uh, definitely uh, that the referee. 
whenever the referee decides about that, that, that something is is well known, um, you, there's a duty to, to to not to just say this is a known result, but you also want to cite chapter and verse uh, why why this thing is is uh, um, all, you know already in the literature, so there doesn't uh, it doesn't seem to be a reason for it to be not known. Now. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so, in, in, and the, of course, the the uh, the editor is asking the referee to 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 do this so that the editor can now uh, uh, make an informed judgment. And the editor has to write back to the author saying, "Yes, your paper is should or should not be published." Um, and the uh, um, the the main the main problem in all of this is that the the people who are are uh, publishing f for the wrong reasons are the ones that are going to take most of the editor's time and the referee's time because they will be writing uh, something that doesn't really deserve to be published, but they won't believe that it doesn't deserve to be published, and you, and you have to prove it to them. Uh, you take a long time, um, uh, uh, spending a lot of, a lot of hours uh, for somebody who, where, where you would rather put that many hours into somebody who was going to write write better papers and really make more contrib contribution to literature, but what happens is that instead you you spend many hours agonizing over how you're going to prove to somebody that uh, that this is trash and, and uh, um, not to not to bother us again, and <laughs> but uh, do it in a nice way. Uh, Herb mentioned Fermat's last theorem being proved. I, I read a proof of Fermat's last theorem in April, uh, but the guy sent me also a proof of Riemann hypothesis, which I declined to to uh, to read. Um, and uh, and so anyway, then and then uh, and then then the, the author writes back to the editor saying, "Well, the referee said such and such, but I counter propose. I, I you know my I have a counter argument that really this uh, the referee doesn't know what he's talking about, and so on and so on. And, and this can take an unfortunate amount of amount of time. Um, the, for uh, but uh, uh, it doesn't. Unfortunately, this doesn't happen often enough to really bog down the whole the whole uh, enterprise of science, which it could very well do. But uh, my but I think the the main the main thing a referee should try to do is 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 consider a responsibility to the author, as and not that that the primary and and the readers of the publication, but not but not only to the editor, and. Um, and if you have to, if you have a certain number of hours to spend on um, uh, on uh, contributing to your profession, um, uh, there's uh, there's a trade-off, and you know how you're going to uh, how many hours are you going to put into the various aspects of of, 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 of things. And one of the and um, one of the decisions that I reluctantly made, but I think it was it was necessary in the in computer science was that I decided that I would put much more time into into uh, refereeing and editing papers before they were published than reviewing papers after they were published. Now, uh, I, uh, I mean, uh, there's review journals that need that that need people to uh, uh, to write reviews, um, but I uh, but I decided that I would put my time into the in, into getting the things. Better before they before they they had to be reviewed instead of instead of afterwards and and uh, because computer science was such a new field the uh, uh, standards had not at that time uh, developed to the point yet where so so uh, uh, given the very few people who could be good referees very few people could be good good, good reviewers um, it seemed to me we would put more, more of the people into refereeing, and then we didn't have very many good reviewers left uh, after after publication. Uh, uh, now it's more more mature field, and we can and we and I think uh, it's better to it, you know it's you know, a more balanced situation is uh, is is uh, is happening. But this but uh, put an awful lot of time into into refereeing because of the uh, res uh, the idea was to, to make the literature as good as possible be uh, when it finally gets in print uh, this should not be this should not be just a half baked half baked thing okay so so I, so I made up a list in the 60s uh, that uh, uh, a little handout called hints to referees and um, and this um, uh, I searched high and low for many hours yesterday trying to find that because I, I must have sent out thousands of these over the years, and we used to send out many every week because I had so many papers going in and out. 
Um, and every time I would send this to the referee, and, pe pe and it was a fairly good presentation of the philosophy that I felt strongly about refereeing. Um, they're, they're, they've all vanished, and, and uh, but I, all, all I found was a trace of it in this um, in a letter from 1970 saying uh, um, there's an information sheet with hints for referees which we think every editor should take to heart. Uh, and which we consequently enclose a copy, but I'm, we didn't save the copy because we already had all this. It's one of these things that had so many out. So I've, I've sent, so I, so I know all the people who got this letter, and I sent to them and asked them for if, if any of them saved the enclosure that came with the letter, and maybe one of them is a pack rat and has and has this. Uh, uh, but um, uh, I, so maybe by the end of the quarter I can show you what this what this is because I th thought I said it well, but maybe I'll try to remember what I what what, what I said in the in this hints to referees uh, uh, so many years later. Um, the uh, as I said the, uh, uh, one, the one of the responsibilities is to the readers of a publication. We would like to, if possible, that that when when a paper comes out in a journal, it would be worth reading uh, uh, before it, and and not. Uh, to, to not just publish everything that comes along and then uh, and then let uh, some kind of law of evolution decide uh, 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 and, and, and selection take place after that point. Uh, ideally, we'd like to have uh, things that people would uh, uh, you know, all the all, all the papers would be worthwhile in, in the journal. Now, why not? Uh, so I disagree with, uh, a bit with one of the things Herb said uh, uh, on Wednesday that uh, he would he would. Uh, uh, tolerate more uh, lapses in, in, in a paper for the Journal of Algorithms than, than in a paper for the monthly. I, I, I don't see why you have to tolerate that. Uh, particularly, you can still ask the author to do better. Um, and so one of the points I made for my hints to referees was that uh, is that almost never is, uh, should a paper be accepted as as it was submitted. There's always, an author can always be, can always do, do, do better. And there's, and, and, and uh, uh, only once in my whole, uh, in, in my memory, was it, was, was there a paper submitted to me that I was not able to think of a single, th single way to improve it. And I let, and I published it exactly as it, as it was. There was a paper by, by George Collins in the uh, uh, ACM journal and uh, he had just optimized that as he wrote it. I mean, his style wasn't wasn't mine, but it was for his style. It was just perfect, and and there was nothing to do. But but almost always, I suggested that there was some way in which you could ask for a, a minor revision that before publication, where the author would do it. And, um, and I also believe the author is appreciates this, even though it's a little more work. Um, uh, uh, I, I've been an author myself, and I've known that uh, I get. That I, 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 I'm very glad to, to know that somebody has read something that I put time into carefully and, and has actually uh, uh, has suggested how it can be made even better. I think this is wonderful. So uh, one of the so one of the responsibilities is to the is is to the publication. Let's get the publication so that pe so that we can be proud of our of our whole field. The publications look good. This was def definitely not true in the early 60s. Uh, there's all kinds of flaky stuff getting getting in print, and you had you had uh, let's see, is it four possibilities or three? You can you can get the right results with the wrong proof. You can get the wrong results with the right proof. No, that's the other one. You can get the wrong results with the wrong proof, and you can get the right results with the right proof. About 30 percent in each category. 10 percent you can't figure out what whether there's result, no results at all or something. Um, and and, uh, and uh, so it was it's really necessary to put a lot of time into 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 making standards. Now, if you look at if, if you look at a random math journal from uh, 1930s, uh, 1920s or something like that, I think it's surprising how that 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 you that you'll recognize the authors of almost every paper. And you'll and you'll also recognize the results of many of those papers that that, that, that is they've come down into textbooks that that, that uh, um, almost you know more than half of the papers in a in a in a in, in a journal will be will be uh, something um, uh, really polished and well known and and, and significant. Uh, w w would that be true of a random journal out of the 70s? No, no way. Um, uh, it's uh, so I think uh, the toler we, we, we got people got to be less uh, more tolerant of uh, of poor quality. Um, now, the other thing is um, uh, that I stressed in my hints to referees was to uh, um, uh, uh, to uh, 
um, be, be, be in the role of teacher. For, um, uh, that is, uh, he, uh, off, the, the person who, the, the author of this paper that you're referring is, is going to write other papers and is, and is, uh, and is, uh, is, is, uh, learning, uh, as everyone goes through life and learns more. And, uh, you can, and, and, a, and a referee is typically anonymous and, and, uh, and the author never finds out who it is. Uh, the, this is so that the referee is um, able to make critical comments without uh, 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 making enemies, essentially. Um, and so, uh, uh, but, but, when, but when, you're, when, you're, uh, uh, when you have this cloak of anonymity, a lot of people will, will write something that, that's really uh, uh, tasteless uh, and will tear down the author in such a way that 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 ha that is completely uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, the author uh, will, will will get this and just be uh, just be just be angry and and absolutely learn nothing from the from the experience and uh, so so uh, there's a there's a way to be to give constructive criticism and this is and and how to point out um, Ways to make improvements in something that, so that it's so that it's clear to the author that he can do better. It's clear, but also how he can do better in the next time he writes a paper and so on. And when uh, and, and and so there's a way there's a way of, of, of doing this in a in a in a way that you would do to a student saying keep you know keep trying. Here's a way to improve. And so on. But the uh, uh, the this this aspect of it uh, um, these more human weren't brought out in this article. I was disappointed not to not to see that. Um, now, um, referee also will contribute um, uh, <clears throat> uh, to the technical quality sometimes uh, by you know I mean certainly you 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 want to contribute references uh, to to work of which the author was unaware of and. But, and you want to check and say that your proof of theorem two is false and so on. It's nice if you can actually supply a correct proof of theorem two. Uh, that's not necessary. Uh, but but um, uh, there's there uh, but there are quite a few times that uh, um, that I got sufficiently interested in a problem that I decided that I would I would uh, contribute a result to the paper. As, as a referee, and, I, and, and and include that in the in, in the referee comments, and um, so I must say there there are at several dozen people who don't know who I was uh, that, uh, uh, but that will have you know there's a note in their paper saying thanks to the referee for uh, you, know, you know theorems one two and three essentially I, you know, not quite but uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know it's uh, for improving the comments and and um, and that made me feel good that I was, uh, in, I mean, somehow that I that, that this journal was 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 getting better was was getting better papers, and uh, and only I knew that that uh, that you know you know somebody appreciated this and it was improving the quality of the, of the of the publication and somehow making the image of the journal as a as a more uh, infallible uh, 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 thing to do. That was um, somehow I I I I, I uh, was pleased to, to have that kind of a role. Um, and I've seen that in many of the other referees then as it was later as, a, as an editor. Um, and in my own papers, as I'll show you, there's many cases where I, where I, where I owe a lot to referees. Um, so, so, um, uh, so I kind of like this idea of, a, of, of thinking of a, uh, of a journal as a source of wisdom um, by, uh, by um, anonymous uh, referees. And, uh, and the, this kind of cooperation aspect of it rather than a, a legalism rather than a legal approach of what what are rights of, of the different plaintiffs and participants in, in this thing that's a completely uh, uh, distorted view of the, of the scientific publication process that I the, the, in my opinion um, uh, now <clears throat> Let's see what I was going to say. What, when you submit a paper, what journal do you submit to? A lot of people ask, you know, students will have, have results, and they say, well, and uh, the answer typically is the one that has the best referees for the subject of your paper. If, unless you just want to get it published. Then you, if you just wanted to get it published, you would send to a journal that would, would likely have a very light, wait, you know, a referee who wouldn't, who wouldn't know if, if, if uh, this is already a known result, uh, you know, something. Uh, 
you can look at the editorial board, or you, or you know, if, you, if, you're, if it's a sequel to some other paper that's already been published in a particular journal, then you know um, that this is a, that this journal has has people who have refereed this kind of stuff before. And what you want to know, I think, if you're a conscientious author, is you want to know if you have really made a contribution. And so you want to send to the place that will tell you, quite frankly, if it isn't, and, and be able to judge, you, judge your work. You want to get that kind of confirmation. You don't want to leave that as an unknown. So that's the choice. Uh, try to find a, a journal that has, that has the uh, uh, ch best chance of having a good, uh, giving you a good service of refereeing. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, Tracy. Some journals have letters in them that look very much like very small papers. Are yeah. they refereed the same way that the? Um, sometimes they are. Yeah, that's just uh, that's just their way of se separating long, long papers from short papers. Um, uh, now there's there are some there are some journals that have no refereeing, and you know, and, and there's conference proceedings that have various different levels of refereeing and so and and things like this and uh, uh, the um, um, it, uh, readers generally expect uh, uh, that they have to wade through a lot of trash when they look at that at that stuff and if somebody I mean Al Perlis uh, uh, you know there were proposals for ACM to publish an unrefereed journal it's been coming up ever since the middle 60s maybe even earlier and uh, he Perlis compared this to attaching a hose to somebody's mouth and letting any, anything gush out that uh, they wanted. It was just going to, you know, uh, much better to have uh, uh, to have a, a filter system. Uh, no filter system is perfect. Uh, and, you know, people get elected president of the United States and so on. It's a hard job. The campaigning goes on for years, but. The, but is this really the filter system? That does it really? Do? But uh, it's, it's still better to apply. Apply, uh, apply controls before publication and after much better, I think. Now, <clears throat> now I have, speaking of president of the United States, um, when people run for president, they, uh, uh, their past life is brought under very careful scrutiny. And, uh, and I decided to fess up to something now that I did in the 60s that uh, I've never told anybody before. And I'm not sure I should tell now, but uh, I, I've started it. And, um, and uh, but in case I ever run for president, it was going to come out anyway, and so somebody would discover this, and so I would have to. So now I have to do it. So, and that is, I I, I began um, uh, editor, um, I, 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 and uh, in 1965, um, I was editing uh, uh, programming languages for both the Communication of the ACM and the Journal of the ACM, and I and I began this in in uh, at just at the end of at the end of uh, 64, beginning of 65. And I decided that um, uh, I, I didn't really know who, how to trust, you know, I, I had a whole, whole bunch of possible referees, but I didn't have any idea if they would be very good referees or not. And so I decided to send the same paper to about 12 people to, to get referee reports on. Um, meanwhile, I had already refereed the paper myself rather carefully so that I knew what, what the paper was. and. Uh, and I um, uh, had already communicated with the author that the paper needed major revision and uh, and so on. But then I sent out. So here's a so here's a letter I sent to the author on January 5th, and uh, said um, essentially, um, uh, what is it? Your paper has been referred to me since I've just accepted position of program editor. Um, we cannot publish this paper before major revisions are made, since the important sections are so unclear. The close review gives one man's impressions and suggestions, and so on. Uh, if I had not assigned the paper to him, he would probably have not taken as much time as he did in trying to understand it. So you see hardly any of our readers would get much out of the paper in its present form. I had written this letter. Then on January 11th, I sent a letter to, uh, uh, to seven people, and I sent the same paper out uh, to quite a few other people later on. Um, and, um, uh, and I always you know, noted the date in which I sent them the paper and, uh, went, and how long it took to get the report the, the, the report back to me, but this was a, this, uh, um, and, and it, it, I guess, uh, you know, it, I, I didn't lie. I mean, I said, uh, I hope you can serve as referee for this paper. I didn't, you know, I was, I just didn't go on and tell them that, uh, that their, that they would, uh, that their re report was going to be just for my own calibration purposes. Uh, <clears throat> but um, anyway, that's what I did. And um, I didn't feel too guilty about it because the paper actually, even though 
very badly written wasn't was 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 interesting as a as a as an algorithm and uh, and so although they'd be putting some time on it they probably wanted to know about this algorithm anyway or at least like you know it wasn't going, wasn't a total loss uh, uh, for on their part to be to be spending this time on on the, on the thing it was um, a bit interesting okay uh, well so now uh, so I don't know what, what, which review, which referee report I had for this that I sent back. Um, another another um, thing that I did once or twice uh, was was write two referee reports. One was the one that I submitted anonymously, I, as if it had come into me as the editor, and then I which uh, and then I would say then I would write another letter saying you know I think the referee was a bit too blunt in his remarks and. Uh, and um, uh, uh, you know, should have toned down a little bit here and apologized for this and all this. But <laughs> but basically, these things had to be said. And uh, 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 so um, uh, so sometimes I ghost wrote a referee report and then um, and then um, changed it to, uh, a little bit in the letter to try to make make the thing. Uh, uh, to, to, as far as I can see, it was the best way to to get the uh, the, the proper uh, encouragement of the. Um, uh, I mean the, the proper uh, training for the for the for the person and still not make him feel too bad but but uh, let him know what uh, the, the facts um, <clears throat> the um, uh, but uh, I, I always try to to uh, to have the right uh, the right outcome and it's not just end justify the means I think it was a way of uh, a way of doing something with with uh, uh, well uh, now this particular so, so here's a paper. Then I have many re referee reports on, and um, and then and it turned out that I liked uh, uh, a surprising number of the referee reports that I got that I got back in. But I but here I, I the, the the notation was was uh, was horrible and, and not explained, and there were there were uh, there were there were errors of fact and so on. So there's there's you know, a bunch of a bunch of uh, numbered comments made. Okay, so then I got back. Uh, one of this report says, I believe the article deserves publication after revision by the author and re-review. So that's uh, basically the same judgment that I had. That, that, I had. that is, uh, it's got to have so much revision that, uh, that then, uh, the, then it has to, another re report has to be made again here. And, um, and so commenting again on, on uh, numerous points about, uh, 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 that weren't clear and, and advice on how to improve it and make it clear and, and how to how, how to do it. So that was that was a uh, 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 you know ten points made on the paper. Pretty good. Uh, here's another another re review that came by. It said a paper on the subject indicated by the given title should include one a complete, precise, concise algorithm describing the method of analysis. Two a proof or at least a convincing explanation. Three a statement describing the limitations inherent. Now this paper had none of these in any way. Uh, it doesn't satisfy any of these, so I don't recommend its publication. Um, so he doesn't even encourage uh, rewrite of the paper. Particular. Oh yeah, here he says. So uh, I would encourage the author to rewrite the paper with the belt guidelines in mind, and so, so then try again. Um, I think this was Klaus Wirt's Wirt Nick, uh, Nicholas Wirt. Uh, review. Then here's another one which said there may be a little that is new here, but is embedded in a network of rediscoveries. There's a large body of published material and supplies bibliography, many papers to read. Uh, in this, if I recommend the author study the following bibliography in roughly the order given, and then um, and so a list of uh, a list of seven papers essentially saying that this man is such a novice in the field he doesn't know enough to write uh, yet, and he should read these things and then and then come back. Uh, so, a uh, carefully worked out bibliography, um, uh, but that per person's judgment was that the method was was really not not worthy of publication uh, until it had been sorted out. Here's another one. Um, <clears throat> I find this paper very interesting. Certainly worth publishing. Um, in particular, it appears to offer significant advantages over other published algorithms. Now, this is interesting because this particular reviewer uh, was the one that I had referred to in my in my uh, report to the author and said that I thought that uh, um, that it was almost equivalent to the to the algorithm described by the by in the paper. So I had I had. Um, uh, um, 
I had erred in that regard because the actual author of the net irons, who I thought had already discovered most of this stuff, was rather impressed by this. Ned is a guy who also doesn't know the difference. Nothing phases him. Everything is cryptic. It's something that looks very cryptic to me. It always looks like an open book to him. Did you know Ned? Was he at? Yeah. OK. So, yes. OK. What? Oh, yeah. So. So he so he actually sees this as a and well, he's been working with. Now I realize he's been working with Seymour Cray's machines, which are sort of designed for this algorithm anyway, when he writes this. But anyway, this was so he he has has suggestions. So he says it is not. I feel the presentation is not as clear as it should be. And I've indicated an additional copy where change might be made. And so he so he he marked up the paper. This 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 you do if there's if it's if it's the most convenient way to to communicate with the author. You just take the manuscript and say, you know, I know you're going to rewrite this anyway. So I actually wrote on on it. My my remarks. And that's sometimes you do that. Sometimes you don't, depending on how many changes there are. But so he so then he had also specific remarks that would that would improve. So I consider this was a good a good review. Also, here's one. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming along. But but I started out with some people who I thought would do reasonably good. I was mostly, you know, here I got back February one. Not too not too bad. It's incredibly poorly written. Uh, now, you know, the transformation can now rather loosely be written such and such. And, uh, you know, the author is even apologizing for saying that he's not going to try to explain something except to make it loose and all this. Uh, the, and um, uh, so anyway, you you uh, um, and there's some technical uh, problems here. Uh, it was another nice one. Uh, this was Peter Wagner's review. I think it should be this paper should be regarded as expository rather than a research paper, since it's concerned almost exclusively with description and application of somebody else's algorithm, which deserves to be more, more widely known. Publication recommended provided, recommended provided the author prepared to rewrite it in more rigorous fashion. And then he gets many pages of general comments on how it could be improved. And in fact, then he goes numbered points one to 20. And uh, so uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, good uh, thought went into went into that. Um, this one here is um, uh, OK. I don't know. This one was um, um, this was a, this was a one that I didn't like because it didn't really ask for very much. And uh, it, it, it 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 was uh, not a. Um, it would, the liter if, if one of these six suggestions had been followed, then uh, we would have published a pretty lousy uh, paper that nobody would get much out of. So compared to the other referee reports, this one doesn't go very, very much in it. And here's one that says this paper cannot be read. It has to be solved like a puzzle. Comments principally involve these things here. And um, um, and then a uh, very useful. Part, I mean, here's what you sometimes have to do and say, suggest that the author rewrite the paper, have it reviewed locally by someone unfamiliar with the algorithm and then resubmit. In other words, sometimes you have to say before you go to the refereeing process, make sure that at least somebody somebody else uh, in, in your environment uh, can can understand it. Um, and um, <clears throat> all right. Um, this paper is written so unclearly it can't be read with appreciable comprehension. At best, the reader must construct for himself a parson that's not inconsistent with the few clues supplied. <laughs> and um, uh, yes, and uh, and then um, it does, uh, and then it has a, a relevant reference to uh, uh, to Martin to an algorithm by Martin K, which was in fact uh, uh, quite useful for there. Um, What's well, this now? But I did have one that recommended publication. Um, I guess this was in the cover letter. So, so this guy had again had had only minor minor suggestions. Oh, did I lose the? Oh no, that's okay. So, so he gives he gives references to another paper by Ingerman, which is which is wrong. So anyway, this was all. Now the funny thing happened though. I got a year. Of, I got this letter two years later. Uh, from the editor in chief, he says, I refer to a paper by so and so. This paper was originally received uh, 
um, and turned over to me when I became this. This is uh, is this 65? It should be 64. Uh, these dates are all off by a year, aren't they? When did I do? No. Yeah. These dates are all off by a year. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, apparently this paper has been circulated privately to a number of people, and I have some reports which say that it contains a lucid explanation of bottom-to-top syntactic analysis. I wonder if you might be in a position to give me the latest report and, and uh, your opinion as to whether you believe we should rescue the paper from oblivion and so on. So uh, anyway, um, uh, the algorithm became known, although the paper, the, the author never did, did write it. So at least by, by my sending it out to all these referees, <laughs> it got the, the algorithm, which, which, in other words, this guy hadn't invented a new algorithm. He was, he was trying to write an exposition, <coughs> quote unquote, of, of somebody else's algorithm, which, uh, which now at least got exposed by the fact that the referees knew about it. But, they, but uh, he never did, did, uh, um, and, and he did publish another, this particular author, I, I believe, published one, one, one paper on Fortran, and then, uh, but I don't know what happened to him since. Um, now, I would like, I would have been happier to conclude the story by saying that this author uh, uh, went on to, uh, uh, to become one of the great, uh, you know, authors of computer science. This has happened in one case, that there was a, uh, that I, I, I wrote a very long referee report to, I bet, I won't tell the pers this person's name, but, but, uh, I really ripped up a paper uh, that that was that needed to be that, that needed to be this and I and uh, to done and I wrote but I wrote a long report and I and I thought I'd never uh, this guy would never uh, you know uh, say hi Don to me ever ever again and uh, I got back a letter from him two years later and he said you know this changed this this changed my life and I decided to to to, to concentrate on writing and and uh, then he, he He's got books out now. He's a, he became a very well-respected uh, uh, professor at, at uh, uh, well-known universities and so on. And um, and uh, he he th he said that this actually was uh, 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 because he he got this strong criticism back that w but did have suggestions as to how to make it better. And so that worked. All right. Now, um, question? Yeah. Okay, after reviewing a paper for technical content, and if you do feel it's very weak and perhaps not worthy of publication, or at least that's your recommendation, yeah. um, would you spend the time to actually go through in terms of um, corrections in grammar and spelling and maybe perhaps presentation? Uh, not, uh, not grammar and spelling, not at that level, not if, it's, not if, the, not if that's a major. I, I, would, I would comment on that as, I, I would make it a quick note, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a list. I, I would just, I would just uh, allude to the fact that that uh, that once you've got these out of out of play, then 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 really you ought to use the Unix spelling checker or whatever. But then conversely, though, if you do feel that it is worthy in terms of technical content, then you would certainly spend the time. Then I spend yeah. Then I put more time into into re, into getting that extra spit and polish. Yeah, making it making it even better. That's right. I I I believe in uh, uh, in. Uh, uh, Making the publication as well as as good as possible. There's no there's no reason why it's that's a bad idea that I can think of. No. Okay, now um, <clears throat> wanted to show you some of the referee reports I've received recently, uh, just to make to, to make this uh, to, to bring up more issues and make this more clear. So here's the letter I got from Leo this May this year. Um, Leo Gibas, uh, this is uh, ACM Transactions on Graphics. I showed you the galley proofs for this paper on Monday. And uh, he said that, um, as you can see, the referee reports are mostly quite positive. Well, he's very, it's nice of him to say this. I had three referee reports. One was very negative, and the other two were positive. So mostly they were positive. <laughs> and so he, he accepts the paper <laughs> publication. Number of revisions are in order, as indicated by the referee comment. And so then, here are the referee reports, and I got these. Um, uh, now here he, he uses a form, a form letter, which uh, which some editors will do, and others like uh, Leslie Lamport and I discussed this. Uh, he, he Leslie thinks that these are boring these forms, but it's sort of a checklist. You know, is the title appropriate? Is the abstract satisfactory? Are the keywords well chosen? If you don't ask these questions, the referees won't, might not think about about these things, and so he. But it's pretty boring to say, yes, see section three, yes, see section three, yes, see section three. Section three is comments. <laughs> and, um, and so um, 
uh, so it's uh, kind of boring to fill these out, but uh, but it goes through the the uh, issues that a referee ought to keep in mind. So, do you would you put it in the research section, or, or there's another or another sec or the practice and experience section? Okay. Um, is it technically sound? Does it make adequate reference to earlier contributions? No. Okay. Um, and of course, this is why I submitted to ACM Transactions on Graphics. I, 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 this is a paper in which a subject in which I'd never written before, and I knew that they had the referees who would know uh, the, the, uh, if, uh, what the what the value of this work was. It seemed interesting to me, but I didn't know if it was rediscovery. Uh, presentation is it well organized. Does it have excess material? Does it lack material? Yes, reference to earlier work. Is it clear? Yes, yes satisfactory. Are more or fewer figures necessary? It's okay. Uh, recommendation, then you have a, a different um, uh, except as is with minor revisions. Reconsider after major changes um, and or reject. And then there's another one called submit to. Now, this is, unfortunately, after you check reject, the author will submit to something else anyway. I mean, if there's enough journals around, that'll, somebody will finally you know, it'll finally filter down to the one that that um, that has the standards of the paper. That's a that's a shame. I guess that's not always true, but um, uh, uh, this uh, fact of life that you have to realize that some some uh, journals uh, will uh, <clears throat> are, are, are more like. Uh, what does Dijkstra call them? Write-only journals. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, so, um, okay. Well, now <clears throat> uh, we're running short of time, so I'm. But I want to want to mention that um, uh, it, 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 the, these comments here were uh, it, it was it, uh, both kinds. Every once in a while, they. Uh, uh, they uh, made me feel good by saying that they, that they actually enjoyed part of it, and you know it was nice to mix that in with the criticism. It's always good to, to have something nice to say, even though your, your basic message is uh, you ought to work a lot harder. Uh, you know, it's just like it's just like guiding a student. Um, and um, so um, it's uh, uh, I mean this not extremely original. I've seen very similar attempts, both published and unpublished. I think it should be published in order to save others from reinventing the concept. I mean, that's not, not exactly what I wanted to hear, you know. Okay. Um, and so there's, so then excellent references are given. Um, and, um, and so, uh, you know, and, and uh, unfortunately, well, the, the references were excellent except in one respect. They didn't give, uh, uh, the clues, I, I mean, I, I, you know, S-P-I-E, I didn't know what that was, and then I found it finally through through a bunch of hard work, and they never had page numbers on these things, uh, on these references, so it wasn't uh, possible to use. Here's a reference to a Ph.D. thesis or a master's thesis, who, who knows which, um, or how to get a hold of it. Um, but um, uh, that was the first report. The next one... <coughs> It should be published before publication. Some minor errors need to be corrected. Some additional changes are recommended, and so on. Um, um, and then the comments on technical things. I actually, I had a technical error that uh, that really, uh, you know, I, uh, this re referee caught, and I thought it was correct, and and uh, I w went to program it on a computer even to check, and finally, I, and and uh, it took me. Uh, uh, half an hour, an hour to figure out that what, that in fact um, I was wrong. Uh, that there was something subtle going on there, needed to be explained. But I thought I had something obvious, and and it was was absolutely wrong. Uh, and then more references here, completely disjoint, by the way, from the references supplied by the previous referee. Um, uh, and um, so anyway, I, so I so I uh, and then I had the third referee report, which says. Um, um, I took the examples, hung them on a wall, had several people comment on them from a distance of 15 feet. It was recommended uniformly. All, all preferred the, uh, the, uh, um, you know, the, my method to last, and all this. And um, um, I find very little to recommend the technique in practice. And uh, there might be something of theoretical interest, but not, but not for paper and all this. And so this is uh, this puts it in very good perspective. So I was now this is again a comment from a 
from a, uh, um, a, uh, a, a reader who was motivated. So there will be people, so I know that if I had published the paper as it was there, there would be a lot of people who had this same reaction. Very important for me to have this kind of feedback. But especially it was important to have those references uh, in, in the other ones. And I got copies of the references, I looked through the references, and that uh, led me to another idea. And in other words, I, I had, there were new ideas in those references that could be combined with the idea that I had and lead, lead to a brand new method that made the, it brought the whole thing in sharper, sharper focus for me. And, and it was uh, then possible to come up with something that I think is a real contribution to literature because uh, now I knew from this referee report what the, what the state of the art was. I could write a paper that would be consistent with being famous. Uh, that you know, people you know, like Herb said, some some people you they, they you know, if there's a paper in this ACM transactions on graphics by Knuth. Well, you expect that there's a certain level of quality in there, and uh, now I've got to live up to this, uh, and uh, and uh, now I felt that I could because of his referee reports and because of the of the uh, uh, because of the variety. So so I knew that Leo had chosen the people who would who would really be reflective of the of the audience, and this uh, and this was a. Um, uh, a big help to me. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, they they knew. And so at the end of the at the end of the uh, uh, paper, then I has an acknowledgement. Now the referees were extremely helpful, pointing me to literature, which I was unaware this led to substantial improvement of the methods in the exposition in this paper, which is absolutely true. And and um, so that's uh, uh, an example of refereeing at its best, if you, it, it seems to me, and it's recent from my experience. So I really appreciated all three of the referee reports. They were quite honest and, 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 and helpful. Okay.